Let's go. Yeah, man. Let's do Bows. it. Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad will go on. Man, y'all already know what time it is, man. My guy's here, man. It's going down, man. I ain't going to play with y'all, man. Y'all know what it is, man. t Rail's in the building. I'm in her. Man, it's good <laughs> to see you, man. Man, why you be so damn busy, man? Boy, you something else, I'm man. To Always to, moving. I'm trying well, to get money. Listen, man. Last time I hit him up, he was he was he was down for the count. Mm. The leg, I, he was, I said, "What's going? The nigga leg up." I, I told you, I said, mm-hmm. "We better call him." I called the nigga right then. He answered too. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I messed up, man. What happened? I bust my ass at the casino. At the casinos. Oh, they had some oil on the ground. I was going to get some crab legs. Who put some oil? Oh, this was in the cafeteria, in the um, buffet nah, side? Buffet? Like, I was going, I want some crab legs. So I right. was like, let's go to the casino. They had all you can eat. Right. And, and which one? Was, which, which, which casino were you at? Uh, I don't remember which casino was. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but we was in, uh, we was in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Mm. And uh, we was walking into the entrance area. It was, I was walking, I was on my phone. Off and I slipped and fell on my knee. Boom! Damn um, me! Right straight on it, like Ooh. right at the right at the top of it, uh, fracture my shit. Uh, Damn boy, I said, man, we feel be down. You know, I'm thinking crazy. Nigga ain't gonna get to perform, man, right now. I'm upset. I'm boy, trying to figure no. it out. All right, I'll, I'll ride on another scooter to go perform. I ain't, I'm getting my money. Uh-uh. Man. Did you have any performances scheduled at that time? I had a show the next day, and, and you uh, couldn't and, make it. Uh, uh-uh, uh, couldn't do it. Mm. I was like, had to cancel. Had to cancel. Wow. What asshole. I can imagine how the people from the casinos was running to your attention. Man. They didn't? No, nah, not really. Well, yeah. They Hell did. Yeah, they the yeah. yeah, they did. They went. They, they they came to my attention. A lot of security in the. I was about to say. But there was a lot of fans taking pictures of me. Like Why you people, was down there? I'm talking about on the ground. Pictures. T- they getting video. Somebody. I'm, I'm trying to talk to the paramedic. People asking for pictures. Can I get a picture no. of your team? Oh, oh, everything I love asks me for pictures. Don't you hate that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come on. I man. hear about stuff like that, but nothing like that has ever happened to you before, right? Where you've been caught in a situation like that and that happened. Not not to that extent, no. But how did that make you feel? Uh, one, it made me feel like I'm doing my job right now. Yeah, saying. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to a point where they demanding these pictures. They don't care mm. if I'm leg broke, leg hurt. They don't care. We want this picture, so. I'm doing something right. But I can understand somewhat where some celebrities feel like you're just a piece of meat. Like they don't yeah. really, they act like they care, but they really don't care if that's what, you know, you're hurt. Yeah. Well, I think that you're a brand. They, you're a brand. You're a brand. When you put yourself on the table like that, you're a brand. Yeah, but when you walking through, um, you walking fast or slow when this happened? I was just walking the regular pace. Regular he on his pace. phone, so. I was on my phone. On right. Phone. I was on my phone. So Take, yeah, looking. And did then you, uh, slip. Boom, did it crash? Straight I don't know, did you feel some pop? Nah, I just fell straight on my kneecap. Straight on kneecap. Straight, uh, straight on top. And when you when that when you went down, who seen you first? You say, uh, Carlos. He he was with you. Yeah. What did he say? Uh, uh, later, <laughs> later. Don't try to move, man. Yeah. Don't move. Don't move. It's later. And when and, and you lay in there and 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 you thinking, dang man, this is bad. So I knew it was bad when I had to call the ambulance. Cause you couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. So when they and and, and as you sitting as you laying there, somebody come up and asked, or you had to sit up, and then they say, "Man, let me get a picture." Yeah, I got up. And they put me in a uh, in a uh, golf cart. Yeah, yeah, and, and you sitting, sitting on the back of the golf cart, and they said, "That's oh man, D. Ray, huh? Yeah, recognize boy. you." That casino knew I was famous real quick. <laughs> they saw it. Trying to figure it out. Uh, who is this? Why y'all want pictures? Why y'all want to take pictures? Man, and and so how long did it take them to get you out of there into the hospital? Oh, they got me to the hospital really fast. Pretty fast. Yeah, it was it was a good process. Fast. Wow, that's crazy. I was just mad I missed that show. I really mm-hmm. want to perform in Mississippi. Y'all had a show in Mississippi. Did they have it rescheduled? Uh, it's been rescheduled. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How and 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 how did you get the word to them that you wasn't going to be there? 
Oh, just call the promoters. Mm-hmm. Call the promoters. They, they do with everything. Help, I can't help a leg. I no, mean, you didn't do nothing to cause it. So that's yeah. the that's the the cold part about it. Things just happen. Things happen. Sometimes things happen. Yeah. So and and that's that's one of the things that I just was like, what the heck is going on? Another what the heck is going on moment was the elevator, right? <laughs> that happened like two days that was ago. Two days ago. ago. <laughs> that happened yesterday. Yesterday. Boy, y'all saying, quick what y'all the quick hell is going on? on? Hey man, so the, <laughs> we in Bruh, the- and I'm thinking these niggas is and why are they coming out? I thought y'all were doing a movie for oh, a second no. in there. Oh, I was like, this nigga doing a movie. And some hey, people boy. I was reading the comments and some people even said, Oh, y'all put everything on, on, on Instagram or on social media like y'all post that people say that all the time, but people need to know what's going on. Yeah, they man, do. that's smart. To be honest with you, the people that really fans like me, nigga, I'm happy to see. Oh, he got out safe. Yeah, yeah, nigga, I'm with you. <laughs> nigga, I'm out. Yeah, I'm with you. Not to, you Man, not. I ain't gonna hold you. I was chilling. You know, I was smoking my hookah, and then Carlos called me and said, "Hey, man, I'm in the lobby. You come let me in." I go downstairs. And I uh, let him in. We go to the elevator. This is Atlanta, right? Yeah, we in Atlanta, okay. my condo. Oh, okay. So I press, we press the button. We go up like it's it's like, but we go up like three floors and it stops. It just stops. It gets real hot in there. Uh, me, so I'm, both of you are in there. I'm crazy. And an old white dude stormy in there. We going crazy. I'm just, I'm like, what the hell going on? What's going on? Y'all had signal. Man, I'm I'm, tech, I'm looking on my phone. I'm trying to figure out what to do in the case you stuck in the elevator. I'm, you you gonna Google it? That I what I've been. Let me Google it. I, I was googling like a fool. Uh, old white dude. He was on the floor. He was like, "They're not coming to say oh, no." Oh. He did not say that. He was talking crazy to the police on the uh, on the phone. Right. He was like, "Stop telling me you're sorry. Just get here and save us already." <laughs> I'm like, "Bro, this boy he gonna make it. They don't want to come save us. We gonna have to beat him up or something." But did you did how long did y'all stay in there? Man, bye bye hour and a half. Wow. Hour and a half. I'd yeah. have been tripping. Must have been hot. Oh, you it was said hot. It was it was hot. The, the walls were steaming. Like the walls were no. like real wet and you got all the breathing in there. You you breathe in, you know. Yeah. You'd be like, please don't talk. Don't talk. Let's let's conserve this oxygen in here. Man, bro, we was trying to figure out everything. What was irritating me the most is my manager got a bald head. And he was just sweating. sweating. I'm, just, I'm like, bro, you just making me hot. <laughs> So, you know me, I watch movies, right? And in the movies, when the elevator gets stuck or if you feel like some danger down at the bottom, you get, you open it up, you stop it, open it up, and then you got to crawl to the top. Man, ain't nothing like that. <laughs> you know how hard them doors are to pry open? Yeah. The fire department was prying the door open. Oh, it ain't like the movies. No, nah, then you don't want to just jump out because that, what if that thing drops, you cut Ooh, your legs off. Or your head, body in half, you dead. You dead, it's over with. So, mm-hmm. so you telling me that you, when you was in there, you, you, you basically couldn't do nothing. Ain't no opening. Did anybody try to open the door? Be honest. Man, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, was like, I, was yeah, try I sl- watched the movie, so I'm like, I'm gonna try to open this. I'm right. trying to slide it. Carlos pressing the button. Fat. I'm like, it ain't gonna work. It ain't working. We stuck. We and you, you not, you weren't claustrophobic. Me, I, I didn't get claustrophobic until my phone died. Oh hell yeah, that's a problem. My phone died, and I started tripping. I started singing Ooh, by the door. Wow. I, I was trying to figure other things out to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, being, so when they came to rescue y'all, of course I saw when you climbed up through the top. What did they do? Open it up and like, are y'all okay? <laughs> did you hear them up. coming? I heard them. I heard them drilling or doing something. They was trying to pry it open. First I heard the siren, so I said, okay, the fire department here. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, I heard them tingling on the door. Then they opened it up. We were we were probably like a four foot under the door oh, entrance. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we had to throw it th- they had to throw a lo- a ladder in there. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So we can crawl out of it. And that's your first time getting stuck in an elevator like that. Yeah, but that's trauma. I've never been. I've never been say, in there. Um, I never done. Thank God. Have I've you been in an elevator since that? Uh yeah, I rolled. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been scared. I'd be like, where's the stairs? I ain't gonna lie. After I rolled, I took the steps re- at the rest of the way up. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, it was I'd like hell scared. no. I was tripping. I bet. I, I mean, tripping. that's the crazy part because I ain't never got stuck in one, but I see a lot of movies and I've been in a lot of them. And in my mind, I'm like, sometimes you get in them, they ride rough. Did it ride smooth or did it? It rolled smooth. It just stopped. So there was no, no warning signs. It just stopped. Just stopped. It stopped on three. <laughs> I was stopped on three. Right on three. And you were like, we ain't stop. We don't post stop. I'm, on, a, I'm on six. What the hell going on? What the hell going on? Did management say anything to you after? Man. We sorry, man. We didn't. What did they say? We sorry. That's we sorry. it? 
I said, can, can I get some discount? Yeah, some. Mm -hmm. We sorry. <laughs> No, I'm like, I'm just traumatized now. I'm like, I we need so, counseling. No, no, we sorry. We sorry, that's it. We got to, you got, what else you need, bro? You got to go now. <laughs> yeah, that's the way they do it. But it's just, thank God it, it didn't get worse. Because what if it just started going down? You know, see that in the movie too. Oh, well, man. I start shaking. Shit myself. Oh, yeah, you dead at that point, oh. I think. It's over. I'll just say my prayers or something. They supposed to, yeah, man. This, but this, but this, I kind of did, did my own research on elevators before on some. I'm one of them weird dudes. Like I watch like a uh, What If on YouTube. You're, mm -hmm. I don't know if you watch What If. I yeah, know. I've heard of that one before. <laughs> I have. I, I have watched, watched the shit it. out of What If on YouTube. They tell you all the crazy stuff. That all the crazy shit you never oh, think see. of. I did you see, see one. It. What to do if that happened? And what yeah, to do. what? To, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a great YouTube channel. I watch that all the time. But uh, elevators got brakes on them. Mm -hmm. They got emergency brakes and other brakes, so you wouldn't have really crashed on the ground. Okay, what? Well, you see that it was the airplane today. You probably was traveling when this happened. I was just thinking about the, that too. When you were talking about the airplane hit a, right over here on sixty seven. I seen it on when I got the plane. Yeah. Well, the news. Y'all was it was war crafts. Yeah. Old, old, old war planes. And because they, Veteran Day, they're doing like a show. Mm -hmm. I but didn't I don't realize know, Veteran Day was yesterday. yesterday but I didn't know that. Yeah, they crashed into each other. I don't know how that happened. It wasn't happened commercial planes. Though. It was war planes, but still. Might lost their life probably in that thing. No, a couple two, of people. Two or three, two. I don't know how many, yeah. we don't know how many people were in each plane though. But did you see the video? Yeah, it was crazy. God bless their family. That, I know. That, that, that's God that's bless crazy. Family. And how many people was sitting there watching this show and affected them? Be like, I'm never going on a plane again. It. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, man, but it happened in Dallas. I saw having to land in Dallas. I'm like, man, what are we doing? <laughs> man. <laughs> Just got off a plane. What? <laughs> Nigga I ain't trying to hear it, bro. I'm already nervous. I'm I get nervous. on that thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I pray. I ride first class so I can drink all the alcohol I want. Man, mm -hmm. I pray. Listen to me. I pray. And then I get on there and I be like, wow. Oh, I got like a set prayer I do before we fly. But I say wow, too. Like It's every, the same prayer every, every time. time. Every time. Before and when it first take off, cause that's the, they say that's the most dangerous part, taking off and landing. But when that thing take off, I just be sitting there, boy. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> say, nigga be sitting back like, ooh, Lord Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I got some issues with that. But I'm still going. Yeah. I got to go. That's you know the worst part. The worst part is when you go through turbulence. That's oh, the worst man. part for I me. Mean, for that plane just drop. No, like, uh, boom, boom, boom. it's bad weather, and all you feel is. The turbulence don't bother me. Turbulence is what kills me. It's the part where it just drop. It drop a little bit, mm -hmm. and then it come back up. And you can feel your stomach just drop. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> I start looking around, people like, what the hell going on? Mm -hmm. The turbulence you is You're traveling a lot, too. I'm on a plane every, every other day. I, I got to say this, though. You pull that off, them rollers, for your holiday. That picture was like, yeah, oh, man. my God. You pull that off. I see you had face on here. Yeah, yeah you, you him. pulled You didn't that. tag him in that yeah, photo. Yeah, I like the face on. That my boy. Me and face on cool, man. You should. Did you send it to him? I told him I'll be a little worm. We do a movie together, Big Worm. I'll be his son. <laughs> man, <laughs> that, that would boy. Be hey, dope. listen, man. We we Shout out to him, man. We went out there and hung out with with my boy, man. Faison is a good a good dude, man. He's a great guy. Great guy, yeah. man. Have me laughing. This dude is very not knowledgeable and very hilarious. Hilarious, bro. I cannot, hey. man. I love it, bro. We be going back and forth. I be having such a good time listening to this nigga lie. <laughs> Woo! That nigga gonna come. He gonna come with some good one. He funny as fuck. Oh man, uh, the history. This nigga told me some stuff. I don't, I don't even know if I repeat it. You know, mm. about Whitney Houston and everybody. This dude here had some stories, bro. You know, he go way back. He definitely got the old stories, man. <laughs> That's face on, man. He been in so many movies. My favorite, a lot. Movie, my favorite one when he grabbed Chris Tucker was like, "Did he hug you like this?" <laughs> you, know you know the man? one I like when he uh, when he basically was on couples retreat, man. Couple retreat. That me. that was hard, man. Like he just been on a lot of good ones, and they man they have back and forths on here. This this platform about residuals. Me and him talk about that all the time. Yeah, because the new uh, the new comedians. Or getting their money a different way than the old comedians. So I get my money just like the new comedians do. Through the through the web, through the internet. Yeah, you guess how you get your bread. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get it with the reels. You get it. I'm a, I'm not just an artist. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm you're influencer. a brand. You're I'm a, a brand. I'm an influencer. Right. Uh, well, all the Walmart videos I do. Yeah. Hard. I do millions of views on those, bro. That's a check. As yeah. you talk about that. Has Walmart ever reached out to you? Because the way how you always push Walmart, I'm like, you need to be an ambassador for Walmart. Well, Walmart just did this uh, deal now where it's starting 2023. They're letting um, influencers get paid from what they 
what they promote at Walmart. Oh. Uh, you have to sign up through the site. I think I've had a big deal with that. I, they didn't physically hit me up about it, but they I should. feel with, with all the stuff that I do with their clothing, right? they have to see that, that influencers are making a lot of money at Walmart. How many people became famous at Walmart? You, Funny Marco. Yeah, Gerald Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Not like a whole lot of people, though. Yeah, the new guy who be doing the, uh, you heard what I said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he tripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boy, look. give me that thing right there. You seen that? What's it's, a, it's, a, it's a white guy. Boy, I said give me that. Oh, yeah, boy, give me that. Yeah. Ooh. Just, oh. Ooh. I'm, tri- I'm like, I hope he run into the right one, boy. <laughs> Boo, that nigga gonna run to the right one. I'll be waiting to get his, his ass. <laughs> he up. gonna get mm. it. Yeah, but it's an influencer, bro. You right. can, you come an influencer like that, you can use the rails and really get money. Right. Another thing that I see people hitting people in there, it's like these niggas tripping in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll be like, oh, And Walmart people? see that. Mm-hmm. You see, they see that. That's why they opened that new influencer thing up. Wow. That's so, dope, though. I don't know if a lot of people even know about that. No, I'm glad you said it because you're helping people to understand it on Boss Talk 101. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, like, if you, whatever you promote within Walmart, you'll get money for it, especially when fans go buy more of it. But wow. you just got to sign up. You got to um, go on the website and fill it out and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of stuff at Walmart, too. Walmart ain't no pump. Yeah, you when can come promote down to anything. Like everything. More, I can hang a lot. I can make more money doing Walmart videos than, than, anything. than singing. Wow. Are you serious? Well, I can sit and sit, do Walmart videos all day and just run reels. I do, oh, mi- yeah. I do more. I do millions of views on reels all day. I'm nobody's bigger than me on reels when mm-hmm. it comes to Walmart, Walmart videos. Walmart stuff. When it comes to those clothes and stuff like that, I did 12 million on one. I did a nine million on one. I did five million on one. And one week I did uh, two to three million per video. Go look at my mm-hmm. TikTok. So that's crazy because. I know it worked. Jordan Jackson came on here and he was talking about it on here. One of the comedians to be with Country Wayne. And he was talking about the way that the you know the that world works. He said he posts about what twenty times a day mm-hmm. on different platforms. Bro, go, He's not playing no games. I just left y'all mall mm-hmm. and somebody I was buying a sweater from Foot Locker. Mm-hmm. Okay. He had a phone in my face. He said, "Man, I'm just getting recording because you you supposed to be at Walmart." <laughs> <laughs> So funny. I said, damn, the Nike sweaters is two for one, you know? I mean, now, he ain't trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? See, everybody know you for that. You know what I'm saying? So that's they so really want to see that. I, oh, that's hard. I get a lot of that. And it's and it, the, the the fan base is diverse. But you put them outfits together like really dope, though, because the last one I saw was you in that black and white shirt with them black pants, and you said you just hard. got it. Yeah. And I'm like, hard. hold up. I ain't never seen that outfit at Walmart. Which Walmart? Man, he went and found that. I got everybody want to shop at Walmart. Everybody, got, I'm starting a podcast for uh, "Hate the Clothes." It's the man in them, where I'm getting celebrities dressed up. That's hard. Already That'd got, be, already that's been started. Dope. Already started shooting. Already got started. Already started shooting. I got a lot of celebrities coming. I'm getting them dressed up. Boy, that, and that's another wow. that podcast. That's another. Problem. And it's affordable clothing. That's what I like. It's not like it's anything that's out of people's reach where they can't go and buy these outfits. That's At the end of the day, what you're gonna do is you're gonna save. You're gonna save these parents. You gonna save these kids? There's a lot of kids. I was one of them kids that got clowned every day because mm-hmm. I had to wear one my clothes. I was raised by my grandmama. She ain't take me to buy no Foot Locker clothes. She ain't take me to Dillard. She ain't take me nowhere to buy no up, upscale clothes. I had to wear one my clothes. I got clowned about it. But if you see, if you see your favorite rappers, just put on some Walmart clothes every now and then. Now, not saying every day, but every now and then, bro, you will help these parents out. But it's how you put things together too. When you teach these kids that it's how you pair it together to make it look good. It's not how you know. It's not as you weren't people not going inside your clothes and be like, let me see what you have on. Man, come on, man! Ain't the clothes is the person in them. You can right. have. You can have. You can have all, all you want on, bro. I'm trying to let you know this. I'm I'm a big dude. I could pull. I could pull a female fast. And anybody wants some Balenciaga on in a Walmart tee, I do it every day. <laughs> do it every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love it. What I. I it gets you in the building, man. You just gotta feel confident in what you wear. I love it. So that the kids need to know that when they go into school and they get clowned on, you know, they see T. Rail doing it. I'm rocking it too. That's and I right. get a lot of feedback from a lot of parents. That's good. Yeah. And a lot of and a lot of teenagers that that can't afford Jordans. Man, and, they, and, and their quality isn't bad. Walmart quality, stuff. Well, used George to be. is a hell of a brand. It's George mm-hmm. T-shirts and George, they have, it's a hell of a brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and it's crazy because. You know, a lot of people don't pay attention to details, but you make them pay attention to details. That George is, that's a good brand. Mm-hmm. I hate it's not bad either, though. I'm working yeah. on getting my own shirt inside Sam's Club right now in my hometown. My first, I'll be getting my I first store. 
Man. Or even your own brand in Walmart. Yeah, but you got to start somewhere. I, Sam's. I, watch, I watch a lot of Shark Tank. And I see a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, they start in one to two stores and they work from two to five stores, right. five stores to 20 stores. Mm-hmm. I'm going to work with this one store that I've been talking to the general manager about. You and you say you can do it. Yeah, and it's my hometown. I'm going to, mm-hmm. it's going to be crazy in there. Does know? it be all sizes? Oh, yeah. Boys, girls, adults, yeah. everybody. I'm going to do the whole range. The whole range. I guarantee I'm going to sell out the first first week but you of know of course because you gonna you gonna be the one putting it on and put it out there <laughs> it's gonna be gone it's website gonna be, it's gonna yeah. be online too oh yeah as, as, as long as i'm web, online i can try to order it come on man. okay shack shack opening up some stores here in texas to some restaurants mm-hmm. people laugh right. at shack but he said he made 300 million and yeah. some shoes alone shoes alone come on that's how money to was, man you know what i'm saying i love the, the way the game then changed and our brothers a lot of them Pulling up entrepreneurs doing things, changing the game. I love it, bro. I don't I just love rap. It. I don't want to just sing. You got you to step outside but, of that. You got to yeah. make some money outside of that. What I love about what you're doing too, whereas even the clothing or even the brands start with Walmart because we've been in the clothing business for over 16 years. And one thing I notice about brands, brands that start up here, high dollar, whatever, and after the brand die, it started to trickle down to your Walmarts, your Ross, your Marshalls, and whatever. So people look at, that's the reason why people look at those stores as like, I'm not shopping there because that's like the bottom of the clothing line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I love the fact that you're starting from here and you're bringing them up and uh, showing people, no, it's not. No, yeah, it's hard. The reason I'm winning, because you understand this, there's more middle class people than rich. Yeah. I got more people to promote yeah. to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I got more people that's relatable to what I'm doing. Wow. That's hard, man. When I think about, well, no, you we here then, then got this new car. Then. Yeah, just then about to say car. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you Bentley treated yourself to it. Treated myself. Congratulations, hard, my son in remission. My 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 kid is in remission. Mm-hmm. That means that he ain't eat cancer free. Yeah, that means all the money that I had to spend on his on his chemotherapy, I don't got to spend that no more. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's my turn to ball out, man. You know? So how, how was did it feel? It feel good to go buy what I want, man. I didn't get to do that. So people thought I was broke. Like I told y'all before, people thought I was broke. I wasn't broke. I was just spending my money in the right place, saving my kid's life. So now I get to buy what I want to. That's hard. I want a car. I go buy it. I want some land. I go buy it. But you're still saving and investing. But I still save and invest. Yes, I'm okay. very smart just, with my yeah. money. I just want to make them know that. Because it ain't, it ain't forever. Money, right. the rap ain't forever. You know what I'm saying? You got to get multiple businesses. You got to be a boss. You got to do right. what you you got to have your hands in everything you can. So how did you pick what you wanted? What You been looking at that car or what? Yeah, I had dream cars. <laughs> <laughs> you been dreaming about that car? Like, I got dream cars. I think man. I'm going to get that. And my fans ain't mad that I got it. They happy I got it. Of course. It. No, you know that's what I'm saying? Because you, 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 well, you do what I do and you humble like that, your fans feel it. It's I a, love your fans. I'll be in your comments reading every single one of your comments. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I just love the mm-hmm. love that they give you. I love mm-hmm. it. They see my accomplishments is theirs. Right. When I bought a car, they feel like they got a car. That's real. When I got a bus, it feel like they got, they a, got bus. a bus. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it ain't like, oh, he boasting or bragging. Most artists, when they get a new chain or they get some, it feel like they bragging in front of you. It feel like they just dangling in front of your face. When I yeah. get something, it's like, man, he finally got it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That boy got but it. But the people who, to me, that would not understand it are the people that, new fans are just coming on, that seeing you now when you just buy that. People who haven't been following you and see your journey and see what you were yeah. doing before. They're the ones who are not going to understand unless they go back and do the research. But I took a slow route. I took the slow route instead of the fast route. Mm-hmm. I built the platform. So my fans educate. You ever mm-hmm. seen it being in my comments? They be like, man, you ain't seen it. That's where good fans come into. You got them real people that really been following you for years. Yeah, they'll defend you. They'll defend you fast. Mm-hmm. Last time I was, uh, you you left, I believe it was uh, Mo, uh, uh, Rainwater talked about Mo3. Uh, uh, he was saying that he can't come to your shows because you so, you show so much mm-hmm. love to Mo3. Yeah. That it, it make him think about it so much. And I think he said he did come. And one dude was like, man, I got on, you know, uh, I got on uh, Mo Mo uh, Mo Mo three shirt and stuff like that when he came. I think he went to yours or either Kevin Gates, one of y'all's. You know what I mean? It just it was my birthday. Place, Rain it came was to, Rain my show to yours, and, uh, wasn't it? It was my birthday. Rain came to see me. Before. But he said he don't. He don't. He, he talked about that here on this show. But then he did. He was like, it's tough on him because of you know where it puts him at. It puts him back in that place because you show so much love to him. I thought mm-hmm. that was hard. Well, man. I believe people deserve their flowers. Yeah. Right. 
a person like uh, Mo3 who put me on stages with him, why wouldn't I show love? Yeah. Why wouldn't I show love? That's that. Why wouldn't you show love? That's what people got a problem with these days. People are afraid to get somebody their flowers. Um, I deal with a uh, death really bad. You know, I flipped in the car five times and I watched my brother fly out of a windshield. Yeah. And I watched him lay in a, on the ground. I'm in an ambulance and I got flown in helicopters. That's and I laid in a, in a, and I laid in a, on a couch in my mama house addicted to pain pills mm -hmm. because I couldn't deal with it. I yeah. had PTSD. So when I get close to somebody, when, I'm a, when, I, when I become a friend with somebody, you don't, you don't got to hang with you every day, but when I be a friend with you and yeah. I'm close to you, or I talk to you and I can tell you about my feelings or I can tell you about something that's going on with me and like, or you check on me or I yeah. check on you, mm -hmm. you become close to me. That's hard. You, you feel what I'm saying? So um, it hurts. I deal with loss very bad. Yeah. Even and still I, today? Until the day. Every, yeah. Until this day, I deal with loss bad. I can have a friend and he could just go somewhere and I talk to him for a while and I, I have an issue with it. Yeah. Mm. You know, uh, so yeah. Yeah, I believe Mo3 deserves his flowers. You know, yeah. and uh, nobody gonna scream his name on stage. I will, and I'm on a big stage. Yeah. It yeah. was just his anniversary. Um, the other day. Yesterday or the day before yeah. yesterday? Because yeah. I saw you posted like about four different pictures of him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to clown all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, he got everybody in the goddamn world saying, I got shoulder pads and play football. I don't even play basketball. football. <laughs> Boy, he roasted me for an hour on live on Facebook. <laughs> I couldn't even keep up. You had me cracking up when you what, what you call him? Um, Pillsbury? No, it wasn't Pillsbury. The Michelin boy. Man. Michelin Man <laughs> with a big head or something he got like a that. Fat ass head. Yeah, I was I was cracking up laughing with how yeah. you were talking about him. Yeah. I think that's hard that you 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 keeping his name alive. I'm very good. I, I think that's the whole game. Like, and that's the whole game. Even on this show, like. A lot of times I mention or bring him up or put his uh, music up. I'm always do that, and I'm always rock with everybody. Pim Pim C. Pim C. Uh, I do that a lot. Like yeah. that's what I do. That's what makes this show different. Sing it's, the hell out of his songs. Oh, you be on it, man. I sing the hell out of his songs. Yeah, What's man. What's your favorite song to sing? You know that one. He, he, I know which one it is. Hold on, don't say it. Let me see what he gonna say. What's my favorite Mo Three song yeah. to sing? Yeah. Uh, I love. I like outside. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew this. I knew that's what he or was. And, or and I. Man, you see uh, Bumpy Johnson. Was it him? Yeah, he came with his song. How would you hit that? I got to get I'm waiting for Rain. He's supposed to be sending me uh, Man. a few records that I've been asking for. He, 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 get, on, he, he get on real fast. He can start stuttering and shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, give me I, 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 I'm going to send it to you, T-Ray. I'm going to send it to you. Man, give me a little bit of that and die, man. Come on, man. You want that? Yeah, mm. let's go. I know you can sing, nigga, so I don't play with you. I'm a Kiwi gangster till the day I die. Man. And I can never be a snitch with all no paperwork. They tell me lies. Nigga, this time. Man. Y'all can see all that. Man, man, that's hard, man. I just love the fact, man, you know, and when I got on him, really got on him, he had passed away. Now, my brother had tried to put me on him early. Mm -hmm. I wasn't on him, but my brother was on him. My older brother, he was, he was like, man... Uh, uh, man, you got you. you I said, and then the guy, you know me. I'm, uh, I'm hard. Right. I'm hard on everybody, bro. You call me. Like, I'm hard. Oh, you can be hard on on on. A, this on was early on. He had just came out with the song where he was at the oh, take the, before he came with the oh, taking the church that part when he first was coming. Like, well, hold your tongue and stuff like that. Yeah, that that part during that that era. That's where I'm talking about the not even when the music got more and more intense. Everybody, man, when him and Boosie did that one, or you know y'all, you know the. the you couldn't deny those songs, but yeah. at the end of the day, at the first, I'm just talking about the first come I up. I was talking to my boy the other day. I said he's the most talented I've ever heard out of her, mm -hmm. out of Dallas to me. That's, that's not even number one. Biased. If I was just a regular person walking through her and I listened to some music from Dallas, boy can sing, rap, rap fast, chop. He goes slow. Yeah. He can, his riffs is hard. His vocals is raw. See, and I'm not even into rap as much, but I fell in love with him whenever. I was on Instagram one day and I heard him singing in his kitchen and that's what made yeah. me because I, I love I love the I love R and B. Did you I'm watch my LL three video? The one I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, did yeah. a scene in yeah, the kitchen. I know like it. I seen it. I was trying to imitate. That was hard, man. Yeah. And you were like, I'm gonna do it in the kitchen. I know that's what he would do. Yeah, right in the kitchen. That's, I, that's when I fell in love with his voice. I'm like, I went to him. I was like, baby, he can sing. He can really <laughs> sing. Man. I was shocked. 
that I outside know. man. I'm tell I went up to I was in L.A. and me and Compton Menace was together when we interviewed him. Mm -hmm. And I said he wanted me to take me downstairs to see his Harley because he got a he got a deal with Harley. Like he's one of the uh, ambassador like, ambassador for Harley. Harley mm -hmm. Davidson motorcycle. Okay. And uh, he took me downstairs and he had about three of three 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 bikes down there. And he was like he turned that music on. Get what he turned on. He scared to come outside. <laughs> and it wasn't no blue face version either. This was Mo 3. And I asked him, I said, which one the hardest? Right though? He's man, like, come on, man. Everybody because he's in LA. Version. I'm talking about, yeah, but we in LA. Man, I go, I travel everywhere. I'm talking about, I'm all over the United States. I ain't never heard a blue face verse. Never. Never. I, I, hear, I, don't, even, I don't even know how to sound. I always hear it. I, I have to know because I had to go listen to all it. All I hear is, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga hard, man. That's all I hear. Work up. Man, when you first heard that, where were you at when you first heard that song? Uh, the crib. I seen him do it on the uh, Instagram. What did you say? Because you're a singer. I know you was like, what the hell? Always, always uh, my Mo 3's vocal ability. All he sings. And, and kind of got me where I, he helped me learn how to do runs. Yeah. You know, I'm a singer. I, I sing, but I, I was always terrible at runs. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, what can run like a motherfucker? Is it? Yeah. And I always learn by listening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. And practicing. Yeah, and practicing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I always admire his, his vocal ability. Which one you are you going to redo on his songs or anything here in the near future? Working on that. I'm going to talk to Rain. Why see if we get the shit going? <laughs> right, everybody you know. waiting on, on Rain to I drop might just his do stuff. Shit. Drop uh, Mo 3, the rest new, of his. The new, the new, the new J. He got three. Say he got three more. You know, nigga ain't going to tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Say he got three more he albums. He keep teasing everybody online. I see every yeah, single time. He got, about, he, he got about three more albums. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm going I'm to drop it, but I, I just got some news. <laughs> I ain't going to drop it. Yeah. This nigga tough, man. He got a new song with Obama coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so you... uh Ray oh. the celebrity himself, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. Ray ain't gonna get Ray ain't gonna come, need to come out with a record. I don't think I think he just he just doing something that I think other managers because a lot of people be like managers don't need to really be why on not? Like that. But this like you just said, this is a different world. Different world. He'd be like the a same P. world, bro. He'll be in there doing his rap and managing. I, I seen him do it. I seen him do it. I seen him in the studio with uh with seven before he Ray he definitely he, no, he ain't no rapper. He, oh, okay. But he know what he know what's he know what to say. Mm -hmm. Or you know what's trending. He yeah, know what yeah, yeah. he know what he know what uh he know how to capitalize. That's yeah. my that's one of my biggest things with uh Rainwater, you know how to capitalize. So is he one of the guys you can pick up the phone to and call when you got something that you wanna Yeah, he'll run tell me by. all kind of stuff. He'll tell mm -hmm. me when I'm fucking up or some shit or hey man, you you tripping, man. You need you 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 need to you need to sing about your life. You need, you need to sing about what you're going through. Alright, I do a song. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you trip, you, know, you, you, need, you charge too low. You need to draw higher. So you value his opinion. Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's hard. I fuck with him. That's hard because it's hard to find people that He's really smart. genuine and to tell you the truth. He's smart. He knows music. He He's knows smart. things. Yeah. That's hard. He's smart. I like it. A lot of people think crazy. He's smart. Talk fast. You got to understand him. Yeah, He's yeah. smart, though. I, I learned to, I learned to respect him and what who he is by doing interviews with everybody around here. Yeah. I did right. Mm -hmm. I, at first, I was like, "This nigga, no, nah, I am this nigga crazy. I ain't never interviewing this nigga." When I first started, I'm nah, man, that nigga, nah. I, I called a nigga one day. I was so hype, I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, uh, "Man, dog, I just got man, I just got phone Anthony Hamilton, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm an R&B lover. I love R&B. Anything R&B, anything. I love R&B. I grew up R&B. I mean, I got man. I was talking Anthony, man." Who that? He old. I'm like, oh shit. That's my boy. <laughs> no, he, he gonna not do it. Just say yes, that. he is gonna do it. I said, man. He know who that is. He knew who he was. Well, he was saying, you need to do something with, with Tory Lanez or somebody new. Somebody young. Which I know that. Yeah. But I was calling him on Excited. a. He didn't know I was calling him on a friend level to right. say, hey man, look, I just look at how I linked up with this nigga. This is, I, I've looked up this thing. I like these. I like older yeah. R and B because ain't no much. Ain't much of that shit left. His mind always staying in work mode. Yeah, I had he to get on a few thinking. of my people like that before. Sometimes when I hit people up, it ain't always work. It's just sometimes I really just fuck with you. That's mm -hmm. real. That's real. I just really fuck with you. I used to call him on three the same way. Call him all kind of bullshit. I sent him a song. He, last time I, was, I sent him on three, it was a fast record. Mm -hmm. He called me back and said, "Bitch, you finally made some fast shit. You always doing some slow music. Like it was just." I don't know, but I, I always just bullshit. If I call you, hey man, you see the the Cowboys there or something? Mm -hmm. You know, no, we talk. Yeah, what I'm gonna do? Talk. 
I'll call you, man. I'm I, I believe in friendship, bro. This is music. This music shit is it's just a stressful as it is sometimes. Yeah, man. Sometimes you just want a regular conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, but one thing about it, man, the music that you do is 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 something else, and people they long for that, bro. So you got to keep that going. You redo these songs. You make I, I, the one you did Ray with uh, Ray J. Ray J. One me wish. Today. Really? One wish. Give me today. You hit that hole. How he doing? I know you gonna hit it when I seen. I said, yeah, he gonna hit that hole. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be so excited, man. How, what did he, what was that? But what is that about? He cleared the song, or we gonna work on it right now? He really liked it. That's good. He liked it. That's Follow good. me and stuff. I'm gonna get link up with him, show him the, the finished record. That's hard. That's yeah. hard because it seemed like you doing things to be that again bridge instead of a wall. You you, yeah. you helping me and even the genuine, even the anything that you doing is things that's connecting the the older with the younger too. Yeah, the see, the music that already went yeah. is coming back into because it always did. Every they just didn't connect. Yeah, like you connected and with them, helping it to come back even quicker. TikTok yeah. is fast, but, but the way that you're doing it is 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 really it's a relationship. It, to see you and Tank together, mm -hmm. and then to see we re, we love Tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then to see you with him, we love you. Yeah, and it's just that chemistry. Then y'all get together and y'all having a good time. Yeah, that's good vibes, bro. Straight up. That's what that's what people want need because the internet got so much stuff going on where you might see a man bleed out. I'm number 30, 39 on the radio that. with that tank record. You see what I'm saying? You you might see a kid get minutes? shot or anything. 35. So at the end of the day, we got to have this stuff, these moments, these memorable moments mm -hmm. where people can see things that average up to where people can see that there are not just bad things happening, bro. Because yeah. they will push that bad thing like over and over again. Yeah, bro. But when I, but when I seen you and Tank do that, I seen that so many times. <laughs> so I want to thank you, bro. Yeah. Because that helps to, we got to even the playing field. That's what boss talk about. Trying to bring the playing field to where people can see something other than. Yeah. Because you know. So I love y'all platform. Bro, they doing stuff on the internet to where, even when, when, when recently when uh, Takeoff, R.I.P. When he, you see how they did that, bro. Yeah. This is getting more and more, more and more aggressive. Every time somebody we lose somebody, it ain't it, when it was P.M.B. Rock, when it was uh uh uh, uh Nipsey Hustle. These things are being they're so in your face. Uh, a Mo three, it's so in your face. We gotta have guys like you. Yeah. I'm being real, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. To 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 help us to 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 level off the playing field with this this internet cuz hopefully bro. it'll bring change because it always takes one person going through being different from everybody else and you have to do it for a while before everybody else catch on people look at you and be like are oh, you ahead of your time but it's really it's starting a new change that's all it is hopefully everybody else catch on and really try to deal with positivity yeah instead of all this negative stuff that's everywhere i mean in this world is hard not to be uh, hard not to be negative yeah. Because you deal with so much negative, but I try to keep a positive foot on on what I on on, on a daily basis. Where I mean, we? It, Where? It's a struggle sometimes. It's tough. Yeah, but you feed negativity with positive, you go you gonna outcome. Fire needs air to breathe. It just takes time. It just yeah. takes yeah. time. Yeah, and Fire. faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love the way how you celebrate even the small stuff. Because what some people might look at as small is huge to you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because even when you just mentioned about, you know, your song, I remember when you posted that and that it's on here, he's like, it's not number one, it's not number, but I'm happy about it. And I love the fact because it makes everybody celebrate it with you and show that, you know, Yeah, I remember the day I wasn't everything. on the list. Exactly. And I love, yes, you yeah. said that. Yeah. You said that and I loved I it. Yeah. I, I don't care if I was, if we was on the top 200, I was 200. Um, I'm gonna celebrate man, like let's celebrate. What I ain't never made a list in my phone my life. I'm on a list. You want you want me not to celebrate because I'm not one. No, because some people out there like that though. They I'm from a small town called there. Topeka. We don't got man. nothing. We ain't never had no OGs to look up to or uh, radio stations or big rappers or clubs shit like that. We ain't had none of that. So to make any kind of list, I'm, I it's I, hard. It's hard. Don't ever change. It's hard. Don't, <laughs> Don't never change, change. T-Real. We love you, man. You gotta be humble about your about your uh, about your gift from God, man. You gonna stop giving them to you? You gonna wonder what's going on? That's real. Cause you ain't humble when your heart ain't humble. He can, he knows your every step. You I got make, it. Make a plan. Tell God. Watch him laugh. I exactly. gotta ask you about uh, uh, take off. Where was you at when you heard that? And, and just when you heard that he had gotten uh, uh, killed, where were you? I was in Vegas. 
And you you basically you couldn't believe it either. Like I couldn't me. either. I couldn't at all. I got a call. Baby, nigga woke me I up. I was just watching this music video. Have you from, met him before? Yeah, I met him in Atlanta at a uh, at Quavo's uh, football game. How was um, he? It was cool. He was chill. He was in, he was more Quavo was more out going. Take off more in the back chilling with his. Everybody said that. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody said, said he was more chill, quiet. Said he quiet. He real quiet. Yeah. You say what's up to him. He what's up. He's just he's just real chill. Wow. And so you what did you think? Like it wasn't real. Yeah. You like this can't be. This can't this be. This can't yeah. be real. I always get that feeling. I always when I when I always get like a real bad feeling when stuff like that happens. Like because I I was actually I talked to P and B Rocket day before he pa uh, passed away. Really. Yeah, I got text on my phone. We was talking. We about working the record. He's, he was like, um, he said, um, um, he was like, I'm not none of these. I'll show you. I'll tell you exactly what he said. I was mad. Well, I was like, this is crazy. Was PMB at? Yeah. yeah, it's just something else because of the fact of how close it be, man. Man. <laughs> It be close. These conversations be so close to. He said, "Man, I done been through the mud, made it out, just to think I was coming into some real shit. This industry fake as fuck, bro. LOL. Been through so many different situations with these rap niggas. Wow. Uh, it was he was like you and he said uh, he said hell yeah, my nigga, I see you on that wave. I, he said I love what you doing, brother. And hell yeah, whenever you and the A just hit me, man, man. And then next day he was dead. Yeah, I'm tripping out." See, that's the type of shit to be fucking with my head. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just was talking to this guy a day, a day before. A day before. This stuff is happening in real time. But you know how I look on stuff like this, though? And honestly, I know that it. this is me personally. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Our lives are predestined. And I'm like, okay, it's sad what everything happened, but how can I learn from this situation? Because the lesson that somebody need to need to learn, whether... You see how takeoff is, and he's quiet. He don't get in no trouble and anything like that. And something like that can happen to him. Everybody needs to move a certain way. Yeah. You understand? This can happen to anybody. You don't have to be that person who's starting something. You just wrong place, wrong time. You watch your surroundings. Don't put yourself out there. There's different things. How do I need to learn? How do I need to switch up how I move because of that? It may not change everything, but people are showing more love. If it just changed one person, if more love was shown, bro, it, it, it would change homes. If you know, a lot of these, a lot of these young men grow up in homes where they're not getting love because mom is forced to work and daddy is gone, and nobody is there to love them and show them that they can be compassionate. Just the men, streets raise yeah, them. Yeah, the streets raise them, and then men get looked bad at when they show feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get looked crazy at when you when you when you're expressive of your heart. Mm -hmm. so but that's changing it, it, now, though, don't you think? A it's little, not as, a little bit right it's not, not as hard as it used to be it's still hard this is where you going it's still tough people don't what that's why songs I make I'm more vulnerable they win mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the vulnerable person you're vulnerable mm -hmm. you're, when, you, when you open your heart up and you really let people why you think there is a raw wave why you think there is a Mo3 a, a Derez and Sean because mm -hmm. they're vulnerable and it's, right. that's, that's rare nobody everybody's bragging about what they got that's why when I do songs with Boosie I make I do pain hurt songs with him. I don't do flashy songs. I like Lil Boosie. I like when he's yeah, when he's talking about what he went through in yeah. the streets. Yeah, and he you know? went through a lot, boy. You know what I'm saying? I want that yeah. pain, bro. I want to know what you're going through. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you, you um you have, you still talk to Boosie every every yeah. now and then? Mm -hmm. Um, when the next time you're gonna do a project together? You you, you working on that yet? Uh, I haven't really. Worked on one of those projects where he's talking about his movies. He want me. To do oh, he wants you get in that movie thing. Yeah, yes. he's big into his movies. So, yeah. are you coming? Are you gonna start acting? Yeah, I'm actually doing T Rail My Dog the movie. Oh yeah, you, yeah. Is that the one with your son? It's gonna be about my son and my brother. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, it's about a father who uh, takes care of his kid mm -hmm. instead of the flashy life of music. And uh, when is it coming out? It's gonna come out uh, summer 2023. Someone told me, have you all started filming? I actually got this full script done. I start auditions on uh, the first week of December. In Atlanta? I'm doing Atlanta. I'm doing Kansas City. I'm going to do... Uh, oh, that's dope. In Topeka, where I'm from. That's hard. That's dope. Maybe Boss and Talk. And your maybe son is going to be in there? there? got to come to Boss Talk. Come on, maybe we can do some. Boss yeah. Talk 101 is the perfect place to come through and get you a little cameo, just something. <laughs> with. Yeah, we want to be in that thing. <laughs> yeah, we here for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, you my we boy. We here for you, baby. We gon' we gon' we gon whatever we are. We it's gonna be a big movie because my dog is my most classic. Most no, it's a hard song. It's my biggest. Oh record, my god, records that everybody oh in the world loves. And then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go put it out there. Your son gonna be in there? Yeah, he's actually he gonna play himself. Of I was about to say. I got him in acting classes right now. Yeah, That's, how is that going? He, he's he's good. <laughs> man. So man, so you you when you think about like uh, you know, Derez, I interviewed Derez Deshaun. Uh huh. And Derez Deshaun said that he uh, you know, he said that's you supposed to think like that. Okay. You know that you was the first one, and I did go back and look and say, you see, I played some of his old songs when I mixed y'all in there. Mm hmm. And so y'all both started early, man. Derez just said that he wasn't known as known yet when he that's was doing it. That's, that's what, what he, he said. That's what he said. He said he wasn't known. So like he that. wasn't. So he was. The name of the game is who's known for it first. No. <laughs> Right? The name of the game is who's known for it first. He said he was doing it and had a music out there. He just wasn't well known. So if you go back and look his at his name video, was different too at the same time. And his day. name was different. It wasn't Derez. Yeah, but if you look at the times and dates and you look who made it popping first, it was T-Rail. It was T-Rail. Look at the dates. T-Rail. <laughs> All the way came out when? Oh, it came out. That was a lot later. It was a, it was later later song. I was oh, before. I, I, was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I was first. I came out with them records. I came up with them records first. T Rail, my dog with Boosie. T Rail, I got to a Boosie. Skirt. I was my whole first mixtape. All the numbers. I got signed with Empire first. I was with Empire Be Empire for a long ass time. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So the pain music is you can't lie with times and dates. I he, watched the interview when he said What did you think about it? I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> cause he cause he he gave y'all the answer. He was yeah. like, I wasn't popping for it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who's popping for it first? <laughs> what did, did you and him talk? I know y'all talk all the time. Yeah, brother, I was just I just went to his uh his uh little conference he had in Atlanta. Yeah, I love How him, that? Sean. That's my brother. Yeah, he's yeah. super dope. Yeah, we love. He's him another too. genuine person that mm -hmm. you you hit up. He's there. He we like, always talking. He's he's pro he's somebody I can have a real genuine conversation with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. ride me. What you up to? You all right? Yeah. What's going on? What's going? On? We sit in the car and just talk. That's my that's my partner. Because he knows that mental illness is so real in this industry in this day and time. It is. So that's one thing we always talk about. Every time I get around him, I always talk about stuff like that. I advise people go to therapists. Mm -hmm. If you're an artist, I feel like you need one. Yeah, yeah. You need a therapist. Need do you have one? Yes, I do. Yes. It's, Has it, it helped you? Oh, it is. It, yes, a lot. Somebody that you can just call when you you overthinking. Mm -hmm. You can do them on virtual now on computers. Yeah. Um, is that better? Yeah. This is some person who listen to you, and and ain't they not they're not gonna tell your business legally? They can't. They can't. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the that's the, that's the best thing you can do when you an entertainer, a business person, a period. Whatever you're doing in life, I advise it just to anybody during these to our times of the day. When I I don't want to go too far past the Darius song. He said you was on his pro new project that's gonna come out. Need but three. He might be on there about three times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I made his album. I'm a, yeah, uh, it's called Perfect Timing. Yeah, he said he said you gonna be on there, man, and and I thought that was live, man. We had a good time talking about the show, a lot of love to you. Seen it, the, you know, I've been holding back. I don't be want to give him everything, but I got, I still got some more of that video. That it's some it's some core moments in there, man. Just there is a good interview, just like you. Yeah. You know, you guys are, are are singing a type of music that I feel is needed. Um, you know, we talked to the boy Keith Stewart in uh, mm -hmm. L.A., mm -hmm. and I compared him with them, too, about because he sings R&B, the traditional, traditional R&B. And we was like, is that ever going to just come back full-fledged? You know, because nigga like slow dance. It you know? ain't left. Women are holding it down. Women are holding it down. Women are holding R&B, that classic R&B down. Right? Ah, that's all I listen to. Yeah, you can still. Look. All men, though. You don't be listening. I told you one day when I, I played all women. To, I played all women one day. I did not I realize all that the I women. That. I said, you listen to all men. I said, I'm going to switch it today. And I turn on all them. You know, I went from Betty right all the way up. I don't really. To clean up woman man. all the way to no pain, I no gain. To all men. the way up to Beyonce. But I mean, I I, I love the, the women can go, too. They got some hardcore stuff. Mary J. Men. Blige. They Force men to go fast records. Yeah, they force us. We it ain't popping. Faith again. Evans, but the women can slow she down. Okay. What's the other one name? Uh, 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 the one that with a uh, Vaughn, Kiki. 
Go hard. Oh, okay, Nigga, yeah. stop playing. Y'all don't want to go. Them women, you playing. We can have a versus with them women. Versus okay, the I, men. okay, I'll do it. Are we it. talking about older? Older? Older. Yeah, I'm talking about older. Older. Yeah. older, older we should be listening yeah. to older. And if we listen to older r be the men, boy. Thank they going to go harder. But Thank you. Stephanie Mills, don't make me keep Thank naming them. We got some We got some hard You talking about Usher's and Tina Marie? You talking about the Usher's and Tina Marie? I even love Charlie Wilson. I love my Charlie Wilson. I love all of that. We got Boys to Men. Nigga, you know what I'm talking I about? I love my Boys to Men. <laughs> Are we talking about 80s or 90s or 2000s? 80s, 90s, all 2000s. Of it. All of it. She be listening to older, though, like 80s and 90s. Uh, I'm on like 90s, 90s and 2000s. 2000s 90s yeah, and 2000s. I go back. Yeah, Men Condition. I, y'all got, I, I, I don't like Men Condition. Why? You took me to their concert. I didn't really love it. No, oh, man. I, I love it. That, that, that lead singer was pretty good. He pretty good. He just didn't do good <laughs> that night. He <laughs> 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 just didn't do good that night. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so, so, um, what, what's, uh, what, what's going on? What, what, what we doing, man? Cause you here for a show. Yeah, concert. So you, you, you working, man? You yeah. always working, bro. I'm in Vegas tomorrow with Tank. You in Vegas tomorrow with Tank? Mm-hmm. You don't get tired of Tell traveling. It. No, I love traveling. You love it. When I get tired of being at home. Really? The home is. Yeah. I don't want to be home when we on the road. <laughs> man, tell that nigga. Tank. I told some artists, new artists. I said, when you at home, that's when you got a problem. Tell that nigga Tank, I deserve, nigga. Let that nigga know. <laughs> he needed to deserve to be on Ball Talk 101 when I, wherever I come to L.A., nigga. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I talk man, to him. No, it's all love, man. We just got to keep working. I always say that. I enjoy the working. I, I love the, 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 you know, let me get keep going. Let me hustle. I like that. I'm like, yeah. you, like the road thing is cool because then you get to meet more people. Yeah. People get to see the show. I love all that that part too. I'm, yeah, I'm, I just yeah. told him earlier today. I said we've been home too long. Yeah, let's, she just said that. We time, time to hit the road again. Time time again. Time I got go. when I go back to Kansas. I got a two day limit. Atlanta, I get about four five day. You get tired. You ready to go? I'm ready to go somewhere. I'm ready to go do something. Man, that's hard. Do you ever just go travel without performing? Like just mm-hmm. take a vacation? Not vacation, but I go travel just do something else. Where is a place that you haven't been yet? I would love to go. In America. Anywhere. Oh, anywhere. I want, I want to go to Paris, France. Paris, really? France? Yeah. I think I'm going there for my birthday. Man. When's your birthday? March 26th. Okay. I think I think we about covered everything. I just want, I think, it, you you did a freestyle, uh, like a, a video I seen where you were just singing hard, too. I can't remember. This. It was an old song, too. About three months ago, you did it. I, I didn't know. see that one. What song? That I'm, like, I'm just, like, that one missed yeah, me. Yeah, no, I seen I it. Know. It was so, I just, I just so it was much. jamming too. That whole was jamming too. I, I already know. I can go right back to it. I ain't going to lie to you. I'll be watching you. I'm watching He's what's like, going on, watching. nigga. I know what's going on. I ain't crazy. I'll be like, oh, this nigga right here, he be working. Do you so. get stalkers? Whoa. Do I get stalkers? Yes. Like I, in your inbox, like plenty. crazy fans. Plenty. Really? really? My inbox, boy. What's the craziest thing a fan of, has ever said or done? I had a fan ask me to have sex with his wife. What? No. Yeah. These niggas are doing Sent pictures, it. everything. <laughs> I was like, wow. Why did you just, and, that, and, that's, and that's hard. The light work is just, they constantly in there, right? She was with it. He was, I was like, well, this is crazy. What was your response? I just started laughing. <laughs> like, these niggas is off the They channel. did that in your inbox. They didn't say it face to face, right? In my inbox. Oh, yeah. okay. That inbox crazy. Inbox, you never know what you get in the inbox. Now, I got a text yesterday. Remember, I sent it to you. I said, here, look at this. They just sending them. Uh, he bah, hurried bah, up bah, and bah, showed bah. me. And I yeah. talk nasty a lot. Because I'm like, so. I don't want to see it. I really, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old nigga now. You just, you the cop me about 22. <laughs> it's over with. Nigga, I jumped on the car, on top of the car, nigga, <laughs> slid in through the back door. Man. Drove that whore up on you. I can't be yeah. trusting them, man. I can't trust them. I'll be feeling like everybody trying to get They're going to film there. everything. They're going to be on the something. social media in a heartbeat. I feel like everybody trying to get over on me or something. No, you ain't You got to be careful. You got to move in a certain way when you when you have a certain status because nowadays everybody is about getting clout. Cloud. Everybody is about you might try to do something under the cover and then they start filming it. By the time you leave, think you good, you can trust that person. Mm-hmm. It's out there. No, I knew yeah. sex tape. T um, Rail sex oh tape. Oh no. <laughs> no. We're gonna make some money. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make some money then. <laughs> Nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> nah, they don't catch me slipping. Nah, man, I'm going to be real, man. You you definitely, man, thank you for coming on the show again. We're going to do it again and again and again. Uh, Juvie. It was... Juvenile. Oh, tell us about that. Uh, who's, he said something Lush. about Juvenile? Yes. I, you, you've got something new going to come with Juvenile? 
Yeah, I got something coming with Juvenile. Juvenile let me redo Rodeo. Really? Ooh. Yeah, I went to New Thanks Orleans. Thanks for that. Yeah, I put that out thank there. you, <laughs> man. Appreciate <laughs> that. Okay, Boss Talk exclusive. So. Really? Yeah, so I, yeah, I went to uh, New Orleans and did a video and, uh, and a song with Juvie. He let me redo uh, Rodeo. I just tell you. See, and I was wondering, I was like, what song are you going to do next? Because for some reason, every single time, like the last time when you left, we didn't talk about Ray J, then all of a sudden, that's when you well, came out with Ray J. The reason I didn't say nothing, because you know, Rainwater told me I played my hand too fast. I show it too quick. So he said, I got to shut up and just do get get four or five of them before I say something. Yeah. That's all. You that's true. Saying? So now I got about four or five of them, so it's cool we say something. Okay, so what else do you have then? Uh, I can't say no more. <laughs> you just but, but so, so you went down to New Orleans, you eating that good food down there because they got the good food mm -hmm. down there. Yeah, gumbo is my oh, wow. Is that your favorite? <laughs> I love gumbo. How Where was, do you go when you go down there to eat gumbo? How do I go? Where, Where do, do you go? go? I went in that restaurant. But Juvenile told me to go to this place. And you went over there? I went smooth over there. I, I ate two bowls. It was that good? It was that good and left with it to go. How was mm. how was it working with Juvenile though? What like how was it? Juvenile fun, process? man. It's, it's it's different. What I thought it was gonna be like. What you what thought you it was gonna be like? Oh, these juveniles more. I thought it was more, more a little hard. You know, Juvie Tuesday, all that going down there. Oh, now. what the Juvie Tuesday? That shit was fun. <laughs> no, oh, that shit what was. What is up. Juvie Tuesday? I don't yeah, know nothing about it. You, you, you got to go to your Juvie Tuesday. What you is that? You got to go to Juvie Tuesday. What is it? It's his big ass party. He throw every Kicking Tuesday. It every Tuesday. Really? He kick. He walk around. He ain't bougie. He walk around. He talking. And he's there every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. You know, and that's Birdman came Tuesday after I left. Damn. Wow. But they were hanging out, kicking it. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. And I'm talking about. He got an inside club. He got an outside. The inside popping. The outside popping. All the good food you want. Everything right there. People come to eat. They get. Uh, they do the crab legs. The, the, all the crab. We got to go to Juvie Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you we got going to, back down there. You know, now we going to, for Juvie Tuesday to interview him. You know, I'm plugged in. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because shout out to my boy, little, little Soldier Slim. He was here today too, and yeah, Juvie, uh, and uh, he was, me and him be talking about Juvie Tuesday. I'll be excited about it. You gotta be ready to check though, because Juvie he like the clown. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did too. Boy, he fired my cameraman <laughs> ass up, boy. Uh -uh. Fired his ass up. You know what? That's what I like. He loves it. That's what he does. Yeah, we gonna have a good time. You know? Yeah, man. You know that's the whole game, man. Like you supposed to be here, and get like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You supposed to be here, you gonna be in a handle situation. Yeah, and I'm gifted. <laughs> <laughs> so when is that coming out? Oh, I don't know yet. You don't know yet. I don't know yet. Man, that's hard, man. So I, I definitely, man. Hey, man, it's coming that, though. That must be nice was the song I was talking about you did. Oh, I was like Janice? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the yeah, you did show I that did. to me. I told you. I, I, I yeah. like the way you hit that, man. Yeah. I, I wait and I said, I'm going to see how you're going to spin this. You know, I now learned, it's a I learned something. I write better on those beats. Mm -hmm. So now I just write on them and I just send the acapellas to the producers and put a new beat under it. That's oh, hard. okay. That's all. Yeah, because I, I, something about is, is these new producers don't be making those classic R&B beats like, they, mm. like those. And I can get on some real street painful shit on the old R&B beats. Wow. So I had to dig in the crate, like find some old older R&B producers. Like you want to go to them, them JDs or the Brahma Coxes or them, them drummer boys, people who made those old R&B beats. You forget about them producers sometimes. You go back to them if you want that sound. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know that, uh, the, uh, the thing about you, you know they. You know they, when they, when you said that about the pain, zero came up, Ja Rule came up, all mm -hmm. type of niggas came up, bro. They, they they was like, yeah, but but we talking about now doing it now. You know I what I mean? Hello, y'all thought we was talking about fat niggas singing pain. <laughs> <laughs> you something else? For real, I was just on the front. Who's fat singing pain? <laughs> <laughs> but you have it's not what they was. Like. No, you got a style and a sound, a unique sound, and the way that you're talking about it, and the cadences that you're using is what's causing it to be something different. Yeah, that's the whole game for me, and it's hard, and we need it because these niggas ain't really just rocking or R, R and B like they. We need something, nigga. These yeah. young niggas need something. You saving a lot of niggas yeah. and don't even realize because all you yeah. can hear all day long is this drill, drill music. music and anything. we don't like that. Oh man, my my uh, my PM in Empire. He's from he's from New York. So oh, he jam his drill music. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you know I'm not from there. You, can, you and me, yeah, yeah. 
He don't want to share them. <laughs> Boy, he love that drill music. <laughs> man, hey, man. Say, man, how can people get a hold to you? I got to ask you that. I know you T-Rail, but yeah, you got to say it. It was T-Rail 785. All right. All right. Check it, man. Hey, man, appreciate you. We love appreciate you, T-Rail, you. man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk, man. And we out. <laughs>